How to install PUI 11.0.4.0 stable on your Redmi K20 Pro without any data loss. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install MIUI 11.0.4.0 stable based on Android 10 without any data loss on your Redmi K20 Pro. As you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro running MIUI 11.0.3.0 based on Android 10. What are the prerequisites for this video? The prerequisite for this video is that you need to make sure that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. And before we start the process, let me answer a few questions. Why haven't you gotten the OTA yet? Well, the OTA is rolled out in batches and I do not know when you will get it. Either you can wait for it or you can use this process to install it. Next question I will get is, what is the authenticity of the files which are being used in this video? Well, the links which are in the description of the video are from Xiaomi servers itself and it does not get any secure than that. If you still do not trust the links, then the only option you have is to wait for Xiaomi to send you the OTA. Next thing, we can go into the gallery application and you can see that I do have two pictures over here and one is of my friend Lord Vader and this is my home screen setup. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this just to prove that I will not have any data loss once I have installed MIUI 11.0.4.0 stable on my Redmi K20 Pro. Now in the description of this video, you will find links to two files. One is called block OTA. Now this block OTA file is for those of you who are on 11.0.3.0. The block OTA file is around 661 MB and is for those of you who are on 11.0.3.0. If you are on any other version of MIUI, then you need to use the full ROM zip file, which is around 2.42 GB. So again, based on your current MIUI version, you need to download only one of those files next thing we'll go into settings about phone system update make sure you're connected to the internet and if you get an update then you can download it if you do not get an update then you can follow the process so what you need to do next is tap on the 11 a few times till you get a message that additional update features are on once you get this message you will click on the three dot menu on the top right and you need to select choose update package now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the zip file in case you downloaded the file on your phone directly it will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred them manually so they are in the root directory now you need to select the file which you have downloaded now for the purpose of this video i am going to select the full rom zip file however if you are on 11.0.3.0 then you need to select the block ota zip file and of course if you followed the video correctly you will have only one zip file so all you need to do is tap on the circle beside the file's name and then click on ok also make sure you are connected to the internet because the process is going to verify the integrity of the zip file to make sure that it has not been tampered with and there it is it is telling me that my phone will automatically reboot and update to me ui 11.0.4.0 and this is where you will get a message that it is going to erase your device if it is going to do a factory reset. If it is not going to do a factory reset, then you will not get that message. And as you can see, I am not getting any of those messages. All I will do is click on reboot and update. And at this point, it is going to decrypt the file. Again, connecting with Xiaomi servers, verifying the integrity of the zip file. And once that is done, the device will reboot. And there it is as you can see our device is now rebooting and it is going to apply the 11.0.4.0 stable update on our redmi k20 pro do note that you should not and i repeat you should not turn off or reboot your device while the system is updating to miui 11.0.4.0 because if you do that you might result with a bricked device and that was the reason why i told you that Make sure that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent because if the process takes around five to six minutes and then your battery is at 10 percent, you know, you do not want your device to 
die because of low battery while the update is going on. Once the process has finished successfully, the phone will reboot again and this time we will boot back into MIUI. And there it is beeps, we can now unlock our device and then we can go into settings and about phone and bam, there it is MIUI 11.0.4.0 based on Android 10 working like a boss on the Redmi K20 Pro. We still have the same home screen setup. We can go into the gallery application and we still have the same two pictures, which means we did not have any data loss. So there it is peeps. That is how you update your Redmi K20 Pro to MIUI 11.0.4.0 stable based on Android 10 without any data loss. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.